Welcome back to CarnegieNews.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Varieties of Voting Systems. In this video, we will be looking at Bucklin Voting, also known as the Grand Junction System. Now, Bucklin Voting is similar to instant runoff voting. It assesses the original first choice votes, and then, if no candidate has a majority, instead of eliminating candidates, Bucklin Voting adds in the next row of votes. Now, if any choices have a majority of the original number of votes or of the voters casting their vote for that candidate, either their first or their second place votes, counting first and second rows, that choice wins. If there is more than one choice with more than a majority or a majority or more, the option with the greater majority wins. If there is still a not a majority after two rows, the third row is counted and so on and so forth until eventually someone gets a majority. Let's take a look. So take a look at these ballots. A through G are voters, H through K are candidates. First past the post declares a tie between I and K. Because I has three first place votes, K has three first place votes. So they're both winners for first past the post. Instant runoff gives the prize to I because H will be eliminated in the first round and then I will have all the votes. Board account awards K as the winner because it gets the most points. But Buckland voting is going to declare a different winner that's neither I nor K. Let's take a look. So for Buckland voting, we will first look at the first place votes, just like we did for instant runoff voting. Since no one has a majority, we're going to expand that to looking at the first two rows. Now, each of I, K, and H have more than half of the people casting a vote for them. H is going to win because six people, A, B, D, E, F, and G, have cast their votes for H, while only four people, A, B, C, and D, cast their votes for I, and four people, C, E, F, and G, cast their votes for K. Now, let's take a look at our presidential example and see where this will lead us. So after the first round, no one has a majority of votes. We have two, two, and one. Not enough to have a majority out of five voters. Now, looking at the first and second rows, we'll see that Stein will now have a majority of votes, having four out of the five voters supporting her. And in fact, no one else has even a majority. Everyone else has two votes and Stein has four. Therefore, Stein is declared the winner. So, first past the vote said Clinton ties with Trump. Instant runoff voting said Clinton wins. Coombs rule said Stein wins. The board account said Stein wins. Nauru said Trump wins. And Buckland voting now says that Stein wins. We still have one more candidate that hasn't won and two more methods to try out. Up next, that was Buckland voting. Up next is going to be the Condorcet method and then dictatorship. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.